Hello! Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and I really appreciate you being here with me. As you can see, I have Luna here and that is because in today's video, we are going to be touring my completed Disney Island. I am so excited to show you around. A lot of love and hard work went into developing this island and I think it might be my favorite one yet. Also, please do not be discouraged by the fact that my island is set in winter. Elsa's here, she froze everything, we're dealing with it, but this island, I promise you, is a lot of fun. It is themed around the Disney animated movies. I have 45 different animated movies referenced on this island, and although I could not put all of them on there, so I do apologize if your favorite movie or your favorite character is not referenced on this island. I am limited to the code space, but I have jam-packed in as much as I could, so I hope you enjoy this tour. Initially, I was going to put together a video before this tour of a collection of all the custom codes I used on this island, but then I realized if I put out a collection of the codes I used on this island before I actually tour the island, it's going to be a spoiler of what characters I have on here. So, I am still planning on putting together that video of the collection of custom codes, but that'll be in my next video, so please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when that video is posted. Now, I did not leave any gifts on this island, so if you do come visit the Dream Address, feel free to dress up as your favorite Disney princess or character. I myself am here dressed as Mary Poppins because I'm hoping that you think this island is just super califragilistic expialidocious. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so, so sorry. But I really hope you have fun. If you do visit the Dream Address, I would love to see any photos you take, any tours you do. Make sure you tag me on Instagram, YouTube. I really hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. Opening my island map, you can see my residents are myself, Tiana, Elsa, and Mulan, and then here are my eight villagers. Each of them represent a different animated movie, so we will see which movie each of these represent as we go on the tour. I also on this island did not do as much waterscaping and terraforming as I typically do on my islands. There's some waterscaping, and of course there's my hop spots that I always like to put, but I think my next island is going to have a lot more waterscaping. Okay, so let's move along. Here is my island flag, just something really simple, a little bit of the castle here to represent the Disney theme. If you are new to the channel, this is my eighth island, but the second one I've done in winter, I did a ski resort island before. I really enjoy decorating in the winter season. It's just really calming and relaxing for me personally. But anyway, as you can see, my resident services is very, very close to my airport. I have Flynn Rider's little wanted poster over here. So cute. So right at the entrance, you have a choice of which direction you want to go. You can either take these stairs on the right and head up, or go over to the left and there's this little bridge we're going to go over. So I'm going to start off by taking the bridge to the left here. So let's just make our way over this double bridge. You can see the Aristocats over there just walking along the fence line. They're so adorable. Again, all these custom codes will be in the video that I'll put out next week. If you're watching this video a little bit later, I'll include a link in the description down below. Okay, so let's make our way further along this bridge and we come to our next movie reference. This is Oliver and Company. So you can see Oliver and Dodger over there just hanging out. I really like the movie Oliver and Company. I know it's an older one, but I really like the music in there. The characters are really cute. Those codes are actually ones I did myself, so I am not a pixel artist, but I tried. Tried my hardest. Okay, here we have Pinocchio and his little conscience guy, Jiminy Cricket. They're so cute. I did not make these. I did find these on the portal, so really talented custom code creators out there. I am not that talented. I am not really a fan of designing my own pixel art, but there were some instances on this island where I had to try my best and do my own. And I think on every one of my islands, I love to have the puppy plushies. This island for sure has the most. There are not 101 though. There are, I think, 50 of these puppy plushies on this island. Well, look at them. They're adorable, wagging their little tails. So cute. So they're kind of scattered throughout the island. Like I said, I think there's 50. Oh, and here we have Mulan. She's kind of far from her home, but let's say hello. So we will be touring Mulan's home a little bit later in this video. Her house is very small, but it is in theme to the movie. All the island rep homes, except for Elsa's house, her house is not accessible, but all the island rep homes, as well as the villager homes, have been redecorated. And we will see those on this tour. Here we have Pongo over here, kind of leading the puppies. And let's make our way back over here to what we missed. So here's just a little reference to the movie Cars. I have like a little gas tank here little cone. And up here, I kept Nook's Cranny in its small wooden form. I just prefer to have Nook's Cranny in its wooden form. So this is Oaken's Trading Post from Frozen. You can see the little sign over here that says it's Oaken's Trading Post. And then there's cute little Sven over there kind of eating a carrot in his little stable. Okay, let's head back onto the beach here and make our way further along to the left of the island. These puppies, I love them so much. All right, here we have one of the trolls from the movie Frozen. I also have the little sled there so that Kristoff and Sven can harvest their ice. 
And let's make our way further up along the beach and we come to our very first villager home. This is Dizzy's house. He represents the movie Dumbo. So we have the Danger Mad Elephant sign here where they're housing Mrs. Jumbo. And then off in the distance there you can see Casey Jr. the little train on the peninsula there. We have Dumbo over here with his friend Timothy Mouse and of course the feather. And then I designed the rep house to kind of look like a circus tent. So I did do a speed build on my channel of this build. And then looking inside at Dizzy's interior, when you visit the Dream Address, all the villagers do default to their original clothing, but for this tour, I wanted to kind of put them in something that was more fitting to their character. So here you can see Dizzy kind of showing off his home. He's more in a circus attire, and he's ready to perform for the audience. So that is Dizzy's home. Now let's head across the way to our next villager home, which is Stitches. So he represents Toy Story. And here is his house right here. You can see all the little Toy Story characters kind of laying about the front yard. I'm kind of deciding this is more Andy's house, and these are his toys that he was playing with. So we have Buzz and Woody, Mr. Potato Head, Lotso Bear, the little aliens. And then this is Stitch's interior to kind of look like Andy's bedroom. So we have the cloud wallpaper. The dinosaur represents Rex. The little piggy bank represents Ham. You can see Buzz and Woody over there. And then we also have the aliens kind of hanging out there in the claw machine, just waiting to be chosen. I think this turned out really cute. Let me know in the comments down below if there's any villager homes that you really like the way they turned out. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions, so feel free. But let's move on further on the tour. Okay, let's make our way up this little path here, and there is Stitches right there just wandering around. Adorable. I know some people think Stitches is creepy, but I find him adorable. Oh, there's Ruby over there too. All my villagers are out and about. They're so cute. But anyway, at this point you have a choice to go up the stairs here or continue on to the left, so we're just gonna continue on the left side here. And we're coming over to Pocahontas. Look at Ruby's leading the way. So here we have Actually, this is two movies featured here. So here's Pocahontas with Flit and Miko rowing their little canoe. And I also have Hey Hey and Pua over there from the movie Moana. You can see them there with Maui's little hook. So two movies featured on one beach. All right, continuing on, we have more Dalmatian puppies. I told you there's 50, I believe, on this island. Aren't they so, so sweet? I love them so much. So here we have now Perdita leading this little batch of puppies. So cute. I just had to. I had to include them. I wish I could have put in 101, but I just think that that was too many. I tried, but it just looked overwhelming, so 50 it is. Anyway, a hop spot, of course, because if you know me and you know my past islands, I love to put hop spots. So let's just hop along here over to Chief's house. He represents Robin Hood, my all-time favorite Disney movie, personally. So let's go see his house. He has, of course, his little money bags here, the little archery and arrows. I love this movie so much. But anyway, here is Chief's interior. Again, I dressed him more fitting to his character because the villagers do default to their original clothing. But his home features some more money bags, some more bows and arrows, and of course his wanted poster. I just wanted to keep it very woodsy, very rustic-y looking. Little fun fact about me, Disney's Robin Hood is one of the only things I collect. I love this movie so much. I do have a little collection of memorabilia, even though this movie came out way before I was born. But I just really, really love it. So I hope that Chief likes his interior. He's so cute. I'm so glad to have him on this island. But moving on, let's head back over to the beach and see our next movie feature. So we'll just wander over this way to this tiny little strip of beach over here, which is also several movies in one. So here you can see cute little Stitch over there from Lilo and Stitch. And then further back, you can see Dory and Marlin, I guess. They're searching for Nemo out there. I do like to decorate my beaches as much as possible if I can. Sometimes I block off areas so you cannot get back there to get up close and personal with these characters, but I did want to decorate the beach as much as I could. Okay, we're going to make our way up this little incline here onto another little ocean themed movie. So here we have The Little Mermaid. There's Ariel, Flounder, Sebastian, Scuttle, as well as Ursula. I designed this to kind of make it look like they came to the surface of the water, so you can see Ariel kind of broke through the surface to see the human world. I tried to do my best with the items that we have, but I think it turned out pretty cute. Okay, making our way to the right side of the island, we have the only character that is representing the Jungle Book on this island. This is the only custom code I could find. I did not have a lot of custom code space to make any more characters, so it's only going to be Ka. 
the only character representing this movie. So I do apologize if the Jungle Book is your favorite, but this is all you get. <laughs> there is gonna be a couple movies on this island that are only gonna have one or two character representations, but you know, it is what it is. I only have so much code space. So let's move on further to now the Lion King section. So here we have Scar and then one of his hyena buddies, I think that was Ed. And then this little symbol here to represent Simba on the ground. I wanted this to kind of look like the elephant graveyard. So I have the little elephant fossils back there. I guess they're the mammoth fossils. And we just kind of have Scar hanging out in his cave. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit deeper into the forest now. And here we come across Bambi and his mother, along with Flower, Thumper, and Owl. This movie is so sad, but I do like this movie a lot. At least on this island, we can have Bambi stay with his mother, so nothing happened to her, and I like that best, so everything is fine. Bambi and his mother are just happy together. And over here, we come to another two-in-one movie scene here. So way off to the left of the screen, you can see the sword in the stone with Archimedes and then the sword actually in the stone. And then the rest of the scene is Sleeping Beauty. So we have Maleficent as the dragon, we have the spinning wheel, the mock prince, and then the three fairies. Okay, further into the woods we go, and now we come across another villager home. This is Chevre's house. She represents Snow White. So we have some of the animal friends here, and then the old hag. Oh, there's Chevre right there. Chevre, do not eat that apple. That old hag has an apple. Do not eat it. It's poisonous. But anyway, here is her interior to represent Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So I have the seven little beds, seven little chairs, and then again, I just dressed her up more like Snow White. But she will not be dressed like this in the Dream Address, so if you visit the Dream Address, she'll just be in her regular outfit. But for this video, you can see her as Snow White. Okay, we did catch a glimpse of Dopey inside the house, but he ran back outside to go continue mining. So here are all seven dwarfs mining for their gems and diamonds. And then of course, Chevre. So cute. I know these coats in particular, along with several others on this island, were designed by Designs by Caleb on Instagram. But again, I'm going to include all custom codes in my next video, so all the creator codes are going to be in there. I will also link Caleb's Instagram because I just think he's very, very talented. So anyway, let's make our way further down this way. We are coming to my first build on this island and one of my favorites. Here is the Tangled area and there is Rapunzel's tower with the floating lanterns. I really, really love the way this turned out. I like to do perspective builds on a lot of my islands. And this one I just think is so sweet. I really think it looks like the lanterns are kind of floating in the air. You can also see cute little Pascal down there. Now let's head over to Bam's house. If you follow my channel, obviously you know that Bam is my favorite Animal Crossing villager. And if you're new to the channel, there you go. Bam is my favorite. Look at him, he's so cute. Let's say hello. He's so, so sweet. So I wanted him to represent the Tangled area. I have him as Flynn Rider, who is my favorite Disney prince. And then his house represents the Snuggly Duckling. So you can see the little snuggly ducking sign here. There's the Rapunzel frying pan out front. And here is his interior. I wanted the interior to have a very rustic rough and tumble look like in the movie. So you can see the Viking hat, the swords and the axe laying there. And then of course, Flynn Rider's wanted posters are hanging about. And then I have sweet little Bam dressed up as Flynn Rider. I love him so much, he's so cute. And since Bam is my favorite, I wanted to make sure he had a great view of the tower from his house. Please let me know in the comments down below who is your favorite Animal Crossing villager because Bam is definitely mine. He's definitely going to be on my next island for sure. Okay, so let's make our way further down the path to another hop spot because of course this is what I do in my islands. I like to have areas where you can hop over the water. So let's just jump across here and you have another decision. You can either continue down the path this way or take this little stair ramp up. So I think I'm just going to continue down the path. Let's head this way over to Marty's house. He represents Winnie the Pooh. So we're entering the Hundred Acre Woods. Here is his house with his sweet little friends here. So we have Piglet, Owl, and then we have Rabbit, Tigger. Obviously Winnie the Pooh is back there too, but Marty's supposed to represent Winnie the Pooh. And then Eeyore. And they're all kind of hanging out in the little carrot garden, I guess. They're so cute. I love the little Winnie the Pooh characters. This code creator is very talented. I'm not sure who exactly designed these codes, but I used a lot of their codes on my island. So again, like I said, all custom codes are going to be in my next video. 
But here is Marty's interior. I wanted to try to match the vibe of Winnie the Pooh's actual house that I've seen in videos, so it's very simple. A lot of blue furniture, of course the mirror that he does his little exercises in, the honey pots, and then I just put Marty in his little pajama outfit. I think he looks adorable in it. So I hope he likes his interior. Nothing too fancy, just really simple. And of course the picture of his best friend Piglet has to be there as well. Okay, so from Marty's house, we can either go down straight this path or head on more to the left. So let's go to the left here over this little bridge and on to our next villager home. We're entering Wonderland now, so this is Ruby's house. I kind of wanted to make it very mythical, very fantasy. Here's the eat me cookies, the drink me bottle. And here is the interior. So of course, Ruby represents the white rabbit. I have the eat me cookies, the drink me bottle inside as well. The stopwatch, the clocks, you know, cause Ruby doesn't want to be late. And then Alice's little dress over there. I just wanted to have it look a little bit like the white rabbit's house. And now we are gonna enter Wonderland. So this next area is very condensed and very cluttered, but it is one of my favorites on this island. So let's make our way over to this little area over here. And be careful, do not step on the mom rats. They're so cute. I love this little coat. All right. It's a small area, but I love it. So here we are in Wonderland. You can see Tweedledee and Tweedledum over there. We have the little party set up where you can see the March Hare, the Mad Hatter, and the White Rabbit are all kind of having tea and celebrating their unbirthday. The Caterpillar and the Cheshire Cat are back there in the left corner. We have the Sweeping Dog, the Glasses Bird, and then of course some bread and butterflies. I think this is so cute. And if today is your unbirthday, a very merry unbirthday to you. And if it happens to be your real birthday today, then happiest birthday. All right, let's make our way further along this way. Very careful not to step on the mom rafts. And of course, Wonderland would not be complete without the queen herself, the queen of hearts. So here she is in all her mad glory, upset that they are painting her roses red. If you do visit the dream address, make sure you tread carefully on this section. You do not want to upset her, I promise. Okay, and now we come to the reason why this island is set in winter in the first place. Here is the frozen area with Elsa, so you can see cute little Olaf over here. And then Elsa is down below in her little wintry castle. So her house is not accessible. It's the only house on the island that is not decorated. It's not accessible. But I just wanted to have her on this island because obviously she froze everything. So there she is. Of course, the snow never bothered her. It bothers me though. I live in the Midwest in a place where snow is abundant, but I do not like the cold. Okay, so let's move on over this other little bridge here. And you can see off in the distance, that is the house from Encanto with the little candle burning up in the window above. And then we also have the characters from the movie Coco over there to the left. So another little movie combo of two movies in one scene here. I tried to, throughout this island, condense each movie into its own little section, although some areas like this one had to be combined together. But I just, in case you come by and you want to get a picture of a certain movie, they're kind of in one little space. So anyway, let's move on over here. We have the Fox and the Hound, Todd and Copper. So cute. I made this code myself as well. Not the greatest, but I mean, I guess it comes across as the Fox and the Hound, hopefully. There's Stitches again. Hello, Stitches. You're so sweet. Let me just scooch past you a little bit over here. Excuse me. And here we have Mr. Toad from The Wind in the Willows. If you saw some of my earlier videos where I was kind of developing out the island, Mr. Toad was actually where Ka is now. So I did move him, but here's where he sits now. If you go down the stairway here, you're just back at Dizzy and Stitch's house. So we're just going to go back up and back over to where we had missed to the right side of the island. Okay, so I just went back past Elsa, Ruby, and Marty's house, and we're heading back over to this little incline that we missed earlier. So let's head up this way to some more Dalmatian puppy plushies. I love them so much. All right, so here we come to my rep house. This represents the castle on the island. And I just have a couple little overlook spots here. So if you walk over this way to the left, you can see the left side of the castle, which features Beauty and the Beast. So there is the Beast and Belle and then Gaston and LeFou are down there kind of sneaking around in the bushes. Very funny, I think. And then if you make your way over to the right side overlook, you can see over here we have Aladdin. So Aladdin is not actually here, but we have Jasmine, Abu, and the Genie over on this side. So the inside of the castle does have some Beauty and the Beast themed rooms in there. There is no Aladdin themes in there. This is the only part of Aladdin on this island is just this exterior part. But I think it turned out really cute. Okay, so let's go down and check out the interior. 
This rep house is the only one that is really fully themed where there's different movies represented inside the house. We still have not seen Mulan's house or Tiana's house. Those are both very, very small houses with just like one or two rooms. But this house has a lot of rooms with different movie themes. Let's check it out. Okay, so here in the main room, we have the Beauty and the Beast dining room. I kind of wanted to combine the Be Our Guest scene along with the ballroom. So that's all together here. I did block off that back room. But you can see Cogsworth and Lumiere here. I kind of put the teacup in the back there on the fireplace to represent Chip and Mrs. Potts. And this is just the whole feast set out for Belle. Kind of in the ballroom slash dining room area. I think it turned out really pretty. I love those big windows. And I think I'm getting hungry. All this looks really good. I think I want to eat something. The Knights of Armor are judging me. They're like, this food is not for you. All right, let's move along to the next room. And here we have the West Wing. So there is the Beast and of course the Enchanted Rose here out in the West Wing area. So you can see his photo up there that he kind of scratched across and then it's just a lot of clutter, a lot of spider webs, all dusty and just kind of run down and old and very cluttered. So this is where the Beast spends his time just waiting for that petal to fall on the rose and hoping he finds true love to break the spell. And we all know he does. I would hope that that's not a spoiler for anybody. I mean, this is a tale as old as time. So anyway, sorry for all these bad puns. Okay, on to the next room. So to the right side, we have the evil queen's lair. So here she is with her magic mirror and she's making a potion of poison for her apple. I think this one is really cute. This was the first room I actually fully decorated in this house. Typically when I do my islands, my resident rep house is the very last thing I decorate. But on this island, I decorated it rather early, and this was the first room that I did. And I used the polishing feature to give some of those items those effects. I think this room turned out pretty cool. I really like it. As you can tell, this castle is not all Beauty and the Beast themed, so there was two rooms Beauty and the Beast, and then the next rooms are just different movie themes. So upstairs we have Cinderella. So this is kind of Cinderella's bedroom where she hangs out and then the hallway and you can see Lady Tremaine kind of making her way up the stairs. We have Jacques down there trying to bring the key over to Cinderella. Cute little Gus is over here in her bedroom along with another little mouse friend kind of making the dress for Cinderella for the ball. I think this turned out really cute. It's very simple. Nothing too extravagant. I mean obviously Cinderella lives in like, you know, the dingiest part of her house but this is kind of her room and her little lair. So that is the upstairs and the Cinderella room. Now let's make our way down to the basement to probably my favorite room in the house personally. Let's head down. This is the Hercules area. So we are in the underworld now with Hades. I really like Hades, he's one of my favorite villains, but there is Pain and Panic, his two little minions alongside with him. I wasn't planning on putting a basement initially in this house, but then I came across this code of Hades and I thought, let me just make the basement the underworld. And I really, really love the way it turned out. So that was my island rep house. We have not yet come across Dana on this island yet, but if we do, we will stop and say hello. Here is just another view of the little Aladdin section. I also have the little magic carpet there on the ground. I guess there's two magic carpets. I mean, you need more than one, right? Okay, and let's head over to the beach. So here we have another little Cinderella section. We have a little pumpkin patch here, and then the fairy godmother, and of course the pumpkin carriage. And then obviously Cinderella's glass slipper is sitting on the cushion over here. Okay, and let's make our way further down the beach side here. Past again, more Dalmatian puppies. I think this is the last of them, if I remember right. They're so cute, so this should be the last of the 50 on this island. And heading up over here, we have a little bit of waterscaping on this island. Not a lot. Like I said, not as much as I normally put on my islands. But here you can see a little bit of a view of some of the waterscaping and terraforming on this island. I think my next island will definitely have a lot more terraforming and waterscaping. That's just kind of what I prefer. I like the more natural islands with a lot of waterscaping and terraforming and hop spots like this. So anyway, let's move on. And here we come to Mulan's house. So we saw Mulan earlier and here is her house. Just wanted to have a lot of the cherry blossoms in here, even though I know that they don't really fit with winter, but I mean, you know, it fits with the theme, I guess. So here is her house. Let's make our way inside. Her house is very small, just two rooms, and it's totally Mulan themed. So here is the main room of Mulan's house. I have the little eating area over here with their tea. 
And then, of course, the lucky cricket over here by Mulan's bed. So cute. And then I have her father's suit of armor and sword, along with her parents' bed over here. And I placed on the table, it's actually hanging on the wall, but I wanted it to look like it was sitting on the table, a little barrette to kind of represent where Mulan took her hairpin and replaced it for the scroll so she could take her father's place in the army. And heading upstairs, we have the Ancestor Shrine along with Mushu the Dragon. So this is kind of where Mulan and her parents pay their respects and pray to the ancestors for protection, safety, and things like that. So let's make our way out of the house now and further along to the rest of the island. So heading over this way, we come to our very last villager home. This is Wendy's house over here. She represents Peter Pan. You can see sweet little Nan the dog over there and then her little dog house. So let's head over further this way. I thought Wendy was a perfect villager to represent Peter Pan since obviously her name is Wendy and she's blue just like Wendy Darling's gown. So here is her interior. This represents the Darling Nursery. So this is where Wendy, John, and Michael all kind of hang out and you can see Peter Pan waiting on the window ledge to take them to Neverland. So cute. Also, I have Tinkerbell here kind of glowing there in the corner. And look at cute little Wendy, she's so adorable. Outside the house and along the beach, we are continuing the theme. There is Captain Hook along with Tick Tock the Crocodile. And then Tinkerbell so fast, she made her way out here too. Also, I kind of made a little pirate ship docked over there in the distance. I mean, I hope it looks like a pirate ship. It's kind of like a little shadow build. And now let's head further down and finish off this strip of beach. So on this large rock, I placed some of the Nightmare Before Christmas characters. So you can see Oogie Boogie, Sally, and then Zero down there. If you want to see a better Nightmare Before Christmas setup, please go visit my horror movie themed island. There is a whole big section there that also features Jack Skellington, so go check that one out. Links of all my tours are in the description down below. But anyway, I'm walking past the Bugs Life section now of the island, so I used some of the in-game bug models to represent the different Bugs Life characters. So we have Manny, Francis, Hopper's over here, Slim the Walking Stick, Flick the Ant. This is just kind of a simple representation. And then up here on the dock side, we have Bernard and Bianca from The Rescuers. Just again, something very simple. And let's head over here. There's the campsite. And then Stitches again. We've been seeing you all over the island. You're super cute though. All right, so if you head up this way, it's just going back to Mulan's house. I do want to go up this little stairway over here though. Kind of head up to the second tier. So over here, you can see Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde from Zootopia along with the little frozen popsicles, because you know, Nick is trying to do his hustle and make some money. So again, you have a choice. You can either go all the way to the left or you can go straight. We're just gonna go up straight here. There you can see Mulan's house down below. And then further up this way, we have Merida from the movie Brave. She's got her archery and arrows around her because you know, she's shooting for her own hand. And then back up this way is just Marty's house again, so. I kind of made different paths you can take on the island, it gives you different directions and different choices of ways to go. So let's head our way back down to the beach and just finish up that last strip of beach, go visit Tiana's house, and then we'll do the rest of the island. So we'll check out this left side of the island a little bit later. Excuse me, sweet little Marty, don't mind me. All right, let's head back down this way, past our campsite again, and over to where Blather's tent is stitches. <laughs> You're following us now. So here we have the Tarzan area, and I definitely prefer to keep Blathers in his tent rather than developing out the full museum, so I thought this would be really cute for the little tent area in the movie Tarzan. So we have Turk the little gorilla over there, kind of trashing the campsite, exploring all the human items that are here, and then Jane's little dress, and her little drawing of Tarzan. I think this turned out really cute, I'm really happy with it. It doesn't always make sense to have a tent on a winter island, but I think that this fit well with the theme, so I'm happy with it. All right, let's make our way up further along this way. And we come to Remy from Ratatouille here delivering some food. He's so cute. I think he's delivering stuff to Tiana's restaurant, maybe. I mean, he's got some supplies there. I think he might be helping her out. So let's head over this bridge and we'll go over to Tiana's house. So here on this tiny little strip of beach is Tiana and her little house here. So let's say hello. I kept Tiana in her diner uniform and this house is kind of representing that small little diner that she worked in at the beginning of the movie. I also have Ray the Firefly over here and Mama Odie. 
And let's make our way inside the restaurant, inside the little diner. So this is just a one room house. I closed off all those rooms on the side and the back. And this just represents her diner. So even though you can see the back room there, you cannot actually access it. I do have it blocked off, but that's like the kitchen area where they cook all the food. So I have her pancakes and then the beignets here. Obviously the game doesn't actually have beignets, so these are representing the beignets. And then hanging on the wall is Dr. Fasile's hat. I do apologize if I'm pronouncing that name wrong. So that is the small little diner where Tiana works. You can also see over here in the corner Prince Naveen as the frog. Let's make our way up this little incline. So heading up here, you can see Paradise Falls and there is Carl and Russell from the movie Up, along with of course the house. It's just a simple little build, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks pretty cute. And then over this way, we come to Wally. So there you can see Wally and Eve. I cannot take credit for creating this Wally. I did see somebody do this on Pinterest and I think it's so cute. And if you just continue this way, you come back to the area where we saw Nick and Judy from Zootopia. You could take that stairway down. So that's just that area. And then this pathway going back to where we saw Merida. So let's make our way and finish up the last bit of the island. So heading back past the Wally section, back past the up section, and we're gonna come to now the Monsters Inc. area. You could see Mike Wazowski, Sully, the receptionist Roz. I also put a door in there and then some of the oil barrels customized to look like the scream tanks. So I think this is really cute. So here is the Wally up and Monsters Inc. section all from a different point of view. I'm using the handheld camera just to give it a different perspective. But I'm really, really happy with how these builds turned out and I wanted to separate them all out in case you wanted to take pictures of each individual movie scene. So here they all are. I think it's really cute. I always forget to use the handheld camera, so this is something different in my video today. And now we come to the very last section of the island. Here is Able Sisters, but I've turned it into Tony's Cafe, so you can see Tramp and Lady sitting there having a romantic dinner of spaghetti and meatballs. I love these two so much, such a great little couple. So, so sweet. So let's head back down this stairway here. And coming down this little incline, we head right back over to where we started this tour, right over at the airport. I had so much fun putting this island together. Please let me know in the comments which Disney movie is your favorite, which scene on the island was your favorite. If you enjoyed the tour, please give a like. Consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. If you are looking for other ways to support the channel, I do have some links in the description down below. I was finally able to track down myself on this island. Here is the dream address if you want to visit the island for yourself. I hope you have fun exploring, and if you do visit the dream address, I would love to hear your thoughts, see any photos. Please make sure you tag me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are having an amazing day. I'm wishing you a wonderful week, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.